Here's everything you need to know about the NordVPN app and its products. Welcome to the NordVPN Insider Updates. In this episode, we will dive backstage and explore the threat protection, Windows, and NordVPN browser extension updates. Stay tuned and get first-hand information from the people behind the wheel. Hello, and let's jump straight into recent updates we made for our NordVPN Windows application. The most significant change for NordVPN application is the introduction of dashboard screen, or as we like to call it internally, the new home screen for our application. As NordVPN expanded, the application became home to several main features – VPN, chat protection, MeshNet, and other goods. With these new additions to the app, we noticed that our users struggled to find their way around the app and to easily determine the status of each major feature. Our dashboard screen aims to solve this problem. A single screen with use dedicated to our three big features – VPN, chat protection, and mesh. That way, our users can easily view the status of each feature and ensure their security. And based on the positive performance, it will be available to our entire user base soon. Another stop – recent section. Even though the bubble design for recent section has been widely accepted and used everywhere, it did have one problem. Even though it was probably more easily spotted if the United States was your connection destination. For example, if you connect to Poland and next time to Germany, you would see two different flags in your recent section. But if you were to connect to multiple different cities in the United States, all you would see is multiple different entries recents, all with the same United States flag. From now on, Next to each of your recent entries, you will see a clear text indicating what exact connection option is saved there. That should make it much easier to identify which recent connection you want to use, even if they are in the same country. Now, diving deeper into more technical changes, we must discuss the connection speeds. We have optimized the current OpenVPN implementation and achieved a faster connection. However, the results we are getting from these changes are most certainly not the end goal for us and you can expect us to make even more changes to improve the speed of our OpenVPN connections in future releases. Another big update made to the app is the new HTTP engine. The new engine brings individual components into one big pipeline, which ensures consistent performance across the whole app and helps us to monitor the application's performance. Maybe the user won't feel these changes much, but it's a massive technical change for us that will help to identify performance bottlenecks more efficiently and allow us to improve the app faster. And that is the last update for now. Let's move on to the extension updates. Another exciting update on our table is spoofing, and it's available on browser extensions 3.8 and up. Our spoofing has two tricks up its sleeve. It hides the user's time zone and virtual location. Let's explore them one by one. First stop is location. Imagine you're from Italy and you're traveling through the Pacific. Now you're on some nice island, you connect to your homeland, and the system sees you from Italy, but the coordinates lead to remote volcanic islands on the other part of Earth. So we fix this little discrepancy by taking geo coordinates from our service in Italy, where you connected in the first place. Now, regarding the country's time zone. This time, you are on a vacation in Fiji. The smart system would detect a user connection from Italy, but it's 10 a.m., but you're in Fiji and it's 9 in the evening. Just like in the location case, we replaced the time zone and took it from our service in Italy. Both sounds like a revolution, not so much attention is given to these attributes. For most cases, everything should work fine without spoofing. But this feature update allows us to avoid various challenging scenarios for specific cases and adventurous users. So to conclude, spoofing is now available for browse extension versions 3.8 and up. And that includes Edge, Chrome, and Firefox browser extension users. Hi, I will discuss a couple of updates we worked on from December 2023. First thing, NordVPN threat protection solution checks the network traffic locally on user device to block all phishing, malware hosting, and similar links and websites with the help of very important component, transparent proxy. So we made it a big, fat update to it. We made it faster, we made it less hungry for computing resources, we addressed and fixed multiple issues reported by our users, which led to generally better user experience while surfing the web. Second, the NordVPN threat protection solution for Windows has a new feature called vulnerability detection. What it does? 
It notifies the user if he has a vulnerable application installed on the system. Usually, hackers exploit these vulnerabilities to access the user system, and we all know what happens next. If you get a notification, don't hesitate to check if vulnerable application has an update. If not, be cautious when you use it. And that's it for now. Stay safe. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel for more NordVPN updates and videos.